So a paku is a freshwater fish that is found in the Amazon. Um, this particular paku is approximately between 35 and 40 pounds and is about 21 years old. My name is Dr. James Steele. I am one of the veterinarians here at the Smithsonian's National Zoo and I help and assist with the clinical procedures that are done on the animals here at the zoo. The animal husbandry staff had noticed three growths that were developing on this adult paku and these growths were starting to get a little bit bigger and we elected to perform a procedure to anesthetize the fish and perform biopsies and cultures of those masses to try and figure out what they were. So there's several things that you have to logistically plan for when you're trying to perform a biopsy on a fish. We had to anesthetize the fish essentially in the tank first. We used a garden pump sprayer to spray anesthetic into the mouth and around the gills of the fish. And so with this method, it allows us to do a controlled anesthetic delivery to one fish and not to all the fish. And from there, we placed it into a large net and then hoisted it up over the bridge and then placed it on our surgical table to then perform the procedure that way. To maintain anesthesia, we created a recirculating system with a pump and then through that pump we placed a tube into the mouth of the fish and recirculated anesthetic water so that it wasn't feeling any discomfort or pain. We did a procedure called an incisional biopsy where we took a large portion of two of the masses to get histopath which is a diagnosis through the microscope to try to determine whether this mass is infectious, is it inflammatory, is it a tumor, and so with that diagnosis we can then dictate where we proceed with the treatment. Fish have a remarkable way to heal, and they heal a lot more rapid than we do as mammals. What we were able to do was remove the mass and then cauterize the rest of the mass that was there. So with this particular fish, we recovered it in a large medical tank, the off-exhibit holding, to allow it to recover without any interference from other fish, to allow it to get all the anesthetic off of it. From there, we can monitor it until we get our diagnosis back, but in the end, our plan is still to put that fish back into the main tank once um, we try to resolve these masses. After four weeks, the surgical site was healed on this Paku, and we returned the Paku back to its main exhibit here at Amazonia. We went ahead and got those biopsies read out by our pathologist. It came back as a xanthoma. It is a benign tumor that is a slow-growing tumor. Overall, um, the prognosis for this fish is quite good. We are going to continue to monitor our Paku. Currently, the Paku is doing quite well, um, eating well, and acting normally at this time. Come visit this Paku and many other species native to the Amazon River Basin here at Amazonia.